Welcome everyone to the Daily Juice Podcast on the Betting Pros Network. I'm your host, Sean, stacking the money green. And as always, the Daily Juice is being brought to you by BetMGM. Use that promo code JUICE150 and you got yourself a chance at a $1,000 risk-free bet. All right. Unfortunately, a little bit of regression came back to haunt us. Oh, and three down three units, but Hey, we're still, still a decent week. We'll, we'll get this dialed in. Uh, also a little bit of a technical, uh, glitch. Maybe it was the server. Maybe it was me. Hey, we're not here to uh, blame fingers. No, appreciate everyone reaching out saying, Hey, idiot, you uploaded the wrong file. No, they were much nicer. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was me who uploaded the wrong file, but Hey, it could have been technology itself. The YouTube is always there if there is a, a technical mistake, but, uh, Hey, eat me on that one and, uh, apologies. And, and thank you everyone for the heads up on that. And, and certainly <laughs> looking back on it, uh, the people who maybe missed out on the show, you were lucky. Cause again, over three minus three units, but Hey, uh, we got some big announcements, some fun announcements when it comes to prizes. And of course, new slate of picks, new day. Let's go. Phillies lost. Oh, Lost one nothing to the Reds. Oh my god. They got the one run, bottom of the ninth. It was just not a fun game to watch as a better, as a as a Phillies fan. Five hits, zero runs against the Reds. Come on, guys. You gotta do better. And their bats were alive and well and just completely fell asleep. I mean, that's when you're when you're on the road, early game, I feel like that's a sleepy spot for teams. Maybe you should have seen that coming, but uh, I thought they'd be able to take care of the Reds. No luck there. And brutal way to lose that. Orioles, 0 uh, 0 game. And then they just got shelled. Bullpen got rocked. Bottom of the seventh. They fall to the Jays, 6 1. And, the, and then the Dodgers, they get the win, 2 to 1. Don't cover the minus 1.5. So these the, the red hot bats of the Dodgers, while they're getting the job done, wins. Could have used a, a couple more, but their pitching is still really fire and uh, stay tuned. Maybe we go back to the Dodgers that Dodgers. Well, yeah, yeah. it would, it's just a delicious. Well, I, I gotta, I gotta try it one more time. We'll get to that before, before we do big announcement, the Brian Dawkins Jersey. We got a winner. That's right. Congratulations. Tyler Polos, Paulos P O U L O S. Hey, hit us up. So you can get your autographed Jersey courtesy of pristine auction. Uh, just email us info at bettingpros.com, info at bettingpros.com, mailing address, proof of subscription. And uh, yeah, we'll get that Jersey shipped out. So congratulations, Tyler. That thing is awesome. I'm wearing a Brian Dawkins Jersey in solidarity with Tyler. Although I'll be honest, mine is uh, not as nice as Tyler and it's certainly not autographed. And Hey, while we're giving out free stuff, what about, a free NFL survivor pool. That's right. A courtesy of run your pool, giving out over $300 in prizes, AKA some sweet, 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 uh, athletics gift cards there, 150 to first hundreds to second 50 to third. And again, completely free to enter. If you're listening to this show, daily juice, I hope you know how to play NFL survivor. You just pick one team to survive straight up. Don't have to worry about the spread. Uh, you can only use the team once all the rules information in the contest link. It's in the uh, episode here, YouTube description as well. Just go to play dot run your slash juice. That is play dot run your slash juice. And again, when they, when I heard out, uh, when I heard they were a sponsor, I was like, Oh, awesome. And they tell me, Hey, go sign up for run your pool. I go, I'm already in there. I've already run a bunch of pools on run your pool, fully customizable. And, uh, they get you set up. They get you going. All right. One more time. Let's go Dodgers. Not going to get greedy on the run line. Although minus one and a half plus plus one fifty, I stared at that for a long time. Gonna, just going to go with the money line here. Uh, Dodgers minus 110 on the money line. Th- this team wins an insane amount of games and they're minus 110 on the money line. Anytime the Dodgers are below minus 120 on the money line, I'm all in. And they got Andrew Heaney on the hill. He started seven games for them this season. He's only lost one of them. His ERA is an insane 1.16. Uh, four earned runs in 31 innings pitched. Going up against the Brewers, you got Corbin Burns, who's solid, certainly. And I understand why the, the Dodgers aren't massive road favorites here, but Heaney, uh, 
Heaney has a better ERA, K's per nine, home runs per nine. Just look at the Dodgers on the road, 41 and 20. Does that sound like a team that should be only minus 110 on the money line? Coming off a only two to one win? That's that's small potatoes for the Dodgers. The Dodgers, they're really fine in their form. I, I, I keep repeating myself, but the uh, they're 14 and two straight up their last 16 and you're getting them minus 110. Love it. And, and the brewers have been cooling off. They're five and 10 in their last 15. And maybe this is a, you know, if I, if I'm going to, um, you know, kind of build a case against my bets, which I try and do honestly, like when I'm handicapping, I'm thinking, all right, Sean, you're going to, you're salivating, look at your chops going for the Dodgers. The analytics are saying maybe brewers, maybe this is a, you know, turning to the guard for the Dodgers. They're going to cool off. I don't know. I just don't see it. A Dodgers minus 110 in any baseball game this season feels like a great value here. So uh, give me the Dodgers minus 110. Given that to you, uh, made that the first pick because that's an early start, 11 10 on the West Coast. So if you're riding or fading, uh, just a heads up, that is a early day baseball. We got day baseball and then rolling into the National Football League. That's right, National Football League. It. NFL, come on, you got to spell it out. It's time. Preseason football bears at Seahawks. I'm taking the Seahawks minus three and a half over on win minus one ten. Now, normally, I you're not going to get rich laying higher than three points in an NFL preseason game, but there's a number of factors that are working into this handicap. One, the Seahawks are historically a good preseason uh, team. They're coming off a loss again. <sighs> We had them plus three and a half against the Steelers. That was such an annoying way to lose that game. Drew Locke fumbled at midfield. The game was tied. And then the Steelers, all they needed was a field goal to win. Kenny Pickett chuck, chucked up a bit of a duck. Uh, receiver made a great play on the ball. They get the touchdown. They win with three seconds, essentially a walk-off cover for the Steelers. I think the Seahawks bounce back here. The bears. Meanwhile, they got their, they got a win uh, week one. Eber flew, uh, got that win. And now, according to what I'm reading, the Bears are only going to play their starters six to ten snaps. Now, I like leaning in the teams where there is a quarterback competition, a la the Seahawks, but the competition is kind of on pause because Drew Locke tested positive for COVID-19, so he's going to be out in this game, which means you know, when a when a quarterback tests positive for COVID in the preseason and you were planning on playing him a bunch, the, the idea was Drew Locke was going to start the game. Uh, maybe Geno Smith doesn't even play. Maybe he plays a little bit. I know their third stringer uh, is going to be, it sounds like their third stringer is going to play the second half, but now that drew lock is out because of COVID Geno Smith is going to play the entire first half. So I think that is a, a big advantage for the Seahawks there. Again, I don't love lane minus three and a half in the preseason, but I think this is this is where you make the exception and both teams coming off a short week. That's really going to favor uh, the team at home here. So Seahawks minus three and a half. I think they actually kind of run away with it. All right. Last pick of the slate going to the Orioles game, but don't worry, not touching the run line. Cause they're laying one and a half. That, that's not when you bet on this Orioles teams. However, I do like Cubs at Orioles over nine plus 100. And you can get that over on a uh, draft Kings there. A uh, very helpful site there, Ballpark Pal, uh, plus seven percent towards the runs. That is actually the highest uh, game for the entire Thursday day slate. Next up, closest is plus three percent, so that's a great start there. Uh, the total has gone over in eight of Baltimore's last twelve games against the Cubs, so like that, obviously. Uh, Adrian Sampson, pitcher for the Cubs, last twenty-eight days, his ERA has kind of shot up a little bit here, all the way up to four point seven one. Uh, Orioles pitcher Spencer Watkins. He's been off to a, a rough start here. Past couple starts, last two starts, seven earned runs and only 8.1 innings pitch. So he has trouble even, you know, getting to the sixth inning. I, I think this is a good opportunity for both teams. Uh, you know, weather conditions, uh, Orioles coming off a, a game in which they only scored one run overall. Their offense has been a lot better. I'm not touching the Orioles run line. It took a lot for me to look at this and go, Sean, you know what? Remember, talk to yourself. You're good enough. You're smart enough. 
gosh darn it, people like you, but you don't take the Orioles as a favorite on the run line. Uh, probably showing my age there with the uh, Stuart Small uh, SNL reference. Uh, look that up on the uh, YouTube or Hulu or wherever it is. You guys, you guys might get a kick out of that. All right, so over on the uh, Orioles Cubs again. Pitchers have been getting rocked as a late ballpark pal likes the weather situation as well. Over nine plus one hundred. Bears at Seahawks. Give me the Seahawks minus three and a half. Get that on win minus one ten and Dodgers money line minus one ten. Money line at the Brewers. Get that on win as well. Hey guys, always appreciate you tuning in. Again, appreciate the uh, the heads up. Hey, Sean, show's messed up. What'd you do? Got it fixed. Thank you guys, and uh, it just shows how many people are listening. Really appreciate the support. Again, the the Discord is uh, just a hell of a lot of fun. If you're not in the Discord already, I don't know. You guys are gonna miss out because when NFL regular season starts, college football week zero. I mean, we're like nine days away from college football week zero. That's when things really get hot. So again, hop in the Discord, bettingpros.com/chat. Give us a follow on TikTok at bettingpros. Follow me on Twitter at Sean T Green. Uh, check out my other show, Sports Gambling Podcast. Picked every uh, week to NFL preseason game against the spread. And hey, as always, you know what to do: subscribe, rate, and review. And as always, don't forget to let it ride.